in this video i am going to show you how to remove malware from wordpress website so let's get started so at first we need to log into our wordpress website dashboard to remove the malware from our wordpress website we are going to install a wordpress plugin so from the wordpress dashboard we are going to click on plugins and then click on add new now we are going to search for a plugin wordfence This is the best WordPress security plugin and today we are going to use this plugin to remove malware from our WordPress website. So we are going to install and activate this plugin. So just click on install now. Once the plugin is installed, we are going to click on activate button. And as you can see that our plugin is now installed and activated. From here we are going to click on get your WordFence license. But don't worry, we will go with the free version for this plugin. So we are going to click on this button and this will take us to the WordFence website. And from here we are going to click on get a free license. And after that I am going to choose the second option. Now I am going to enter my email here. Now I am going to check this checkbox. After that I am going to select no from here and then click on register. Now I will go to my email inbox that I have added here. Now I am going to open this email and after that I am going to copy this license from here. Go back to my WordPress website dashboard and then click on install an existing license. Now I am going to enter my license here and then email here. After that I am going to check this second checkbox and then click on install license. So as you can see that free license is now installed. So now I am going to click on go to dashboard. So now I am going to close it from here and after that scroll down and from the WordFence menu I am going to click on scan. Now I am going to click on start new scan and it will start scanning all the website files. So as you can see that scan is now completed but there is no malware on my website. But if there is any malware or virus in my website then here it will show us the file which contains the malware and after that it will show us the location of the files that contains the malware and now to remove the malware file what we can do is that we can go to our cPanel and after that from here we will go to file manager double click on public underscore html then you will see all the files here but if you have multiple websites on your hosting then you will see the website folders here so we are going to select our website folder from here and here it will show us all the website files and after that from here we can easily navigate the malware file and we can delete it so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.